we need a change in attitudes. We need to think about things in a different way. And I think what we need is a cultural revolution. I really believe that we're suffering from a compassion and integrity deficit. I really, really feel this. And I think this matters a lot more to us than we dare to admit. I think here we're amongst friends and it's really cool to have these really, these conversations that you maybe wouldn't otherwise have. Um, and, and as I'm kind of thinking about talking to you today, I'm kind of thinking, well, what's, what's our moonshot? What is, what is it that we want to do? What is, it, it, what is our moonshot? You, know, you see Elon Musk is wanting to take people to Mars and you know, he's coming with the, the solar revolution and the electric revolution. And he's a true, true visionary, this guy, but there aren't enough of him. You know, I was in a building a few days ago where there's like 3,000 people in London startups and they're all just building apps and most of them, if they just didn't go in the next day, it wouldn't make any difference. There's no, no purpose. They've got tons of passion, like huge amounts of passion. I mean, people with so much passion, it's unbelievable, but they don't have the purpose of like, that's what we're doing and that's why. Um, so I, I wrote something a few years ago, 2008, it was actually after my dad died, and it's, it's set in 2040 called Discovering the Obvious. And the first scene is actually quite similar to where we are now. And, and I wrote this, it's never been edited. I once had it up on a wiki, and then the wiki site closed down, but I kept a copy of this as a PDF. And the opening scene is just like being here. It is literally, it's on a farm called Broadview in 2040, and these four characters who have taken on this journey in this, this kind of book that I've written, um, um, I was sad having a, a breakfast and this huge airship flies overhead, it's completely silent, and it's taking people from New York to Seattle. And it takes a day and a half because we don't have to rush anymore. The, the whole, this whole world of the internet of everything, it changes the way we think about why we need to get somewhere fast. We don't because we're everywhere all the time. So travel is like being on an ocean liner, but you're flying. And I vividly remember, remember writing this, and I don't know where it all came from, but I wrote pages and pages and pages and pages of this. And you know, I believe that images like this are, 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 are not possible. Images like this are going to happen. This is our future. We can make this a reality, and it's not gonna be politicians that make this a reality. It's gonna be people that just say we've had enough, and we, we're gonna do something. So I think the greatest opportunity for us is to come together in what I call safe spaces. We need safe spaces to discuss these things and to create momentum. And I don't think these safe spaces are, are social networks and, and, and places online. I think the safe spaces are cow sheds and safe spaces are hikes with people where you can talk. And, 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 and start to get the conversation going. I think we've become overly dependent on, on you know, posting stuff on Twitter and setting up a group on Facebook and it's, it's not gonna work that way. So you know, I believe it's about finding you true believers, sharing everything with them, asking who's gonna step up and stand for a cause, bringing people into a fold, bringing people in to do, and empowering people to lead. It's like this open source, you just, it's like deploying a virus and then empowering people to go run with it around a big moonshot. You know, Martin Luther King never said, I need a strategy or I need a business plan or I need to do a business model canvas. He never, he just said, I got a dream and that was it and that was enough. And Gandhi, he never said, I can't do this because I don't have an app. I, he didn't. I need to send out five million text messages, otherwise I can't do it. He didn't. 